things. This is uh, our day when we have usually have a, a good meal for you guys and uh, the ladies that are here are volunteers. They do this from their hearts, from the goodness of their hearts and some of you know their names. There's one who hasn't been with us for a while and we're very happy to see how she's getting around and feeling better. Does anybody know her name from before? I Santana, you've been here before, and so has It's Anthony. been a while, though. Do you remember her name? May. Hey, you got it. May Wilkes. Give her a hand, everybody. Thank you for being back. Welcome, May. And the other lady's name? I know it. Oh, you know it. Chris. Chris, give her a hand, too, everybody. That's good. That's right. That's right. And uh, May, are you you feeling okay? Enough to be here, so I'm glad. But, but, all of you know Beth, uh, and uh, Beth had to... Uh, uh, be with her husband because her husband fell down. We don't know any of the details. We don't know if he broke anything or anything like that, but we do know that uh, she couldn't come today because her husband fell down, and so we'll keep him and her and the family in our prayers. Today we're going to be talking about what uh, quenches uh, thirst or what uh, gives us what we need when we're hungry spiritually. Like right now, we're going to um, enjoy food, when we get hungry, our body gets hungry, we need food, well, our soul gets hungry too. And uh, what, what is it that can really fill up our soul with, with what we need? What, yeah? God's Word. Okay, and that Word which tells us that we're what, yep? Well, I was going to say love and compassion. Ooh, everybody needs love and compassion, right. Uh, sometimes we feel, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to offer what? Um, Elliot said, uh, the Word of God pretty much feels our spiritual soul. Correct. Uh, you, you, your soul feels hungry when you feel guilt, like you've done something wrong, bad, and you feel guilt, and you're like, boy. Thank you so much God for the food for our souls, that being your Word and the message of uh, the cross and Jesus. Through Him we have forgiveness. Feed us every time we hear your Word and we study your Word. Every time we go to church or our Bible talk time here at The Rock, that's the most important feeding that anyone can ever enjoy. We thank you also for feeding our bodies with the food that we're about to, to eat. Help us to remember, Lord, that you're the giver of all good things so that each and every day we, we give thanks to you. And we show that thanks in the way that we live our lives for you and to your glory. Uh, we thank you that you have brought May back to us, and we pray that you continue to bless her with healing and strength. And we pray for Beth and her husband uh, as he fell. We pray for healing. We pray for strength. We also pray for faith and trust that you will work it all for their good. Uh, this we pray in the name of Jesus, and dear Savior, we ask you to be our guest. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Not to be down to them. That's bad, where you think you're better than people and, you, and you're preaching to them like that. No, but you know that you're a sinner, they're a sinner, and you want to hear what God has to say about forgiveness. And so it's important to try not to be reading your sermon, you know, where you sit there and you just, ah, la, 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 la. Uh, if somebody just reads a whole sermon uh, 20 minutes long to you and never looks up at you, what do you get the feeling? Like, Sorry, I don't mean it. Yeah, like, you know, what? He doesn't really care about it. Okay, he's kind of just getting it out, right? And he doesn't really care. Now, I, I think uh, personally that that's uh, uh, somewhat unjust uh, when it comes to some pastors because I think they really do care, except they haven't learned how to talk to people uh, without looking down. They get, it, it's kind of a nerve-wracking thing. Some of you take, take speech classes, kind of a nerve-wracking thing to be in front of people and talking to people. But what a good pastor does then is he tries to memorize the outline of his sermon. Okay, And this helps me, for example, and I'm not even going to look at this right now, but this helps me to try to remember where I'm going, to try to uh, remember what I want to share like, with the people. He checks okay? out our lives. He audits our life, and he finds out all that we've done 
wrong against him, and he sees it all. And he goes, yep, they're deserving of punishment. But then God says, but I don't want them punished. I am not going to count their sins against them. And notice what he says. He was reconciling the world to so, himself. Um, you think about uh, our sins today, the grudges that we maybe are holding. Anybody hold? You don't have to tell me what it is about. No specifics, okay? Anybody holding a grudge against someone today? Wow. All right. So this uh, section of the Bible certainly speaks to all of you. You can put it down. Think about this, okay? Does God hold a grudge against you? No. Should he? Yes. Yes, he should because of our sin. But he doesn't because of Jesus. He doesn't because of Jesus. In fact, the Bible says as far as the east is from the west, so God has removed your sins from you. Wow. He's just removed your sins. Because Jesus shed his blood for you. Yep? Well, if you're holding a grudge that you won't forget because they did something bad to you. Yeah, that, it, I know it's very difficult, Jessica, and I'm not going to make it sound like it's easy to let it go. I'm not going to make it sound like it's easy because there are some really bad things that have happened to people in this world by very evil people. Uh, keep in mind that when you forgive and let go, it's not saying that what the person did was okay. I think that's really important to remember. I, oh, I'm home. Ow. <coughs> I am him. I am him. I am him. I am Oh yeah, and I am I am I and I asked about who I asked or what we ever can know. Yeah. Oh, if I want to know who was that, but that's what I'm trying to be there. I am, but it's him. Uh, it's been a while I have a little hammer. But I'm actually walking back to you now, my. Oh my God, he's an extraordinary guy. Why